Welcome back to Julie's Wreath Boutique. Today we're going to make a Christmas wreath, but this could be used any time of the year. Just change out the colors of your mesh and a different sign, maybe some spring or summer ribbon, and you've got a beautiful wreath. Let's get started. All right, so let's get started on this Christmas wreath. And I have a lot of things I want to show you today, and it's been a week. It's the week, oh, the Saturday after Thanksgiving here in the States. And oh goodness, I had to take a week off. Actually, I was off for two weeks because I got what everybody else is getting across the world. And I'm not going to mention what it is in case YouTube wants to like, you know, you said that word. Don't say that word. So you know what I mean. So I'm a little behind guys. I'll be honest. I'm doing much better now. Um, we're all healthy now in our family. Nobody else got it. Just me, thankfully. And um, so now I'm behind. So I want to kind of catch you up. So if you're watching this in 2021, this is November 2020. And um, the world has been um, at a standstill, it feels like, for a year almost. So we're going to move on. And I'm going to get on with this Christmas wreath. I'm going to use this really cute little sign I got from the wreath shop. And I'm going to show you some amazing ribbon here in a little bit. But we're gonna use a Dollar Tree wreath frame, okay? So it's time to get my house decorated. I wanted to get my house decorated before the Thanksgiving holiday, but I was in bed, so that didn't happen. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on it right now. So I'm gonna take this wreath um, or this sign and I'm just gonna, it has this like twine hanger, but I'm not gonna use that. So I'm just gonna cut that off. And we're going to use something different today. I've never used these before, and I've heard people talk about it in my group called Wreath Creators and More. If you would like to join, the link is in the description box below. But they talk about these zip tie adhesive mounts. Now, there's like, some people like them, some people don't. I've never tried them, so I'm going to try them on this wreath, okay? But what I am going to do is I'm going to take a little sticky off, but I'm also going to add some glue. I'm going to add some of my Gorilla Glue. And if I can get the little sticky off here, there we go. I'm gonna add just a little bit of my Gorilla Glue stick here just to give it a little bit more um, adhesive, okay? Because those Gorilla, the Gorilla Glue really does work really well. So I'm just gonna put one here. It's not perfectly straight or anything, that's okay. And then I'm gonna put one up here, like, like so. And you could do four of these if you wanted. I'm not going to. What I am going to do is I'm, it came in a bag. And honestly, I think I paid five bucks for all of this. And it gave me um, eight inch zip ties and it gave me the zip mounts. So I want to say I paid between five and $10 for this whole bag. This will last a long time. I'm not even sure I'm going to use the zip ties for um, attaching it. I might just use pipe cleaners. Um, or something like that, but I just wanted to kind of show you here something new and if you haven't tried it um, Let me know if you have and if you like it So I'm just gonna put those on I'm gonna let those dry so I just was not even it's not even straight That's okay. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put this to the side The next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my Dollar Tree frame here and I'm going to get some of this plastic canvas mesh now, this is probably one of my most asked questions. What is that stuff you put on the middle? This is called a plastic canvas mesh. And if you remember in my childhood, my grandmother would get like these little circles and she would um, use yarn and make little coasters or her little tissue um, paper holders and covers. This is what this is. It's very flexible. I like the five count. You can get this at like Joann's and Hobby Lobby. Um, I believe the online um, craft shops will have this soon. So I'm just going to make a circle and I'm going to put it in the middle of my wreath. So I'm just going to, um, cut this out and then I'm going to attach it with little zip ties and I'll be right back. Okay. So what are we going to do? I've got the middle on this wreath and no, we're not making a flower, but I do, I want, I've decided I want to anchor my picture in here instead of the sides of my wreath so that there'll be no moving around and it'll just kind of securely hold my sign in the place I want it. And also if we put any picks or anything like that, we can add it to the mesh as well. So that's what that is. It's just kind of a place. And then at the end, I can just cover the whole back of this with felt. 
All right, so what are we gonna do for the base of this wreath? I did a video, oh, earlier in this year for my brother. It was a Jayhawks wreath, because he's a big Jayhawks fan. And I, I showed you how to take two things of mesh and how to do the ruffle method with the no cut ruffle method in a square frame. So this time we're gonna do it in a round Dollar Tree frame. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to layer these. Now, I gotta decide what do I want? Do I want the black on the inside or the white on the outside? I think I want the white on the outside. And yes, I'm using this really pretty deco mesh that has like a trim. And I will see if I can find the link for this as well. And then this is just some black, um, like fabric mesh, I believe it's called. It was just a, a mesh. It's not quite just deco mesh. It does have the fabric kind of feel to it. So this, again, this is what I had on hand and that's what I want you to do. I don't want you to feel like you gotta go out and buy anything special. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this real quick, give it a little bit cleaner edge here. Fine. A rotary cutter here and I'm just going to cut it okay because we're not we're not going to use the glue or the wood burner for this so I'm going to flip this over and I've got so we have the black is going to be on the inside and the white's going to be on the outside okay and so what we're going to do is we're going to focus on bar three so this is what I do I call this bar one two three and four so we're going to work on bar three and what you're gonna do is simply take each side of your mesh, the double mesh here, and we're just gonna come up, okay? And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little zip tie here and I'm going to kinda make it our, our point here that where we start and it'll hold it securely. Now, you do not need to add more of these little zip ties your wreath will stay put, okay? It's not gonna fall out. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna roll this out a little bit more. Now you're gonna wanna be careful because we did put this canvas in here so it doesn't get held up on it. And I'm just gonna pull it up through. And what it's gonna do is it's going to create a ruffle look. See, I need to, I need to put this on the floor is what I need to do. <laughs> Um, it would be probably a little easier if this was on the floor and gave you a lot more slack. So you're just gonna pull it up through the wreath here, and it's gonna be a little tricky with that plastic canvas mesh, I won't lie, okay? So we're gonna just do this and we're gonna push it back because we want it, we want to start that ruffle look. You just pull it up some more, all right? So like this end is, is bigger, so I'm just gonna pull on the other end, it'll, it'll, it'll equal it out some, okay? So that's looking good. I'm gonna do just a little bit more. I don't know how much I'm using for each section, so it's just kind of a preference thing, how much you wanna add. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So now I'm gonna go and we're going, we have the cross bracket right here. So we're just gonna go underneath and pull it through over here. All right, and these like to stick together because they're mesh, so that's okay. And you're just gonna keep pulling. All right, all right, so that's looking good. So we pull a little bit more. Again, maybe if I roll this back a little bit over. Okay. So you could do these this with like red and green, gold and green, uh, silver and red, whatever you wanna do. So I wanted to add the black because of the sign. So now we're gonna keep going through here and I'm gonna do the same thing until I reach over here. And then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna do this outside bar the same exact way. Okay, so I went around the first time. I ended up having, I had a cut in the mesh. Sometimes when you get rolls of mesh, there might they might have cut it in the middle. And so I had to start a new one over here. That's okay, it's not gonna show. So instead of cutting the mesh again, 
So we're at the end over here. That's where we started our wreath. This is where we're ending that first um, row. I'm not gonna cut it. I'm just gonna come down to this um, wreath frame bar two, and we're just gonna keep doing the same thing, okay? And I'm going to probably be a little bit less of um, the ruffle less method in the section because I only have this much left and I want to make it work. I'm hopefully we'll get this around the whole wreath. If not, I may have to take this apart and do something different on the outside. So we're just going to keep going here and um, I'm just going to keep going all the way around and then that will be the base of our wreath and then we're going to add some more ruffles in here but this just kind of adds oh a little bit extra um color and dimension to your wreath and it's just kind of a quicker way to do it without cutting it and having any frays that's always my big um put that there my big um frustration when you're working with deco mesh and you have to cut it, number one, yes, you could cut it all with a wood burner, um, but it takes time to do that. And sometimes you just wanna like put a wreath together pretty simply and you might not have a wood burner and then this gives you a way to make that wreath and still have it look nice. So like right here, I'm going to the next side and it just, it gets a little tight because you've got this mesh on this side so you're coming up on the other side. So just know, it's gonna get a little get a little tight. That's okay. It can get a little tight. And if we have a little gap here, that's all right, because we're gonna fill that in with some things. So as you can hear, I've got my elephants going on upstairs. They've got lots to do. So I know you all know who my little elephants are. And if you don't, you'll hear them. <laughs> it's my little herd. So we're just gonna keep going and I'm gonna come back when I'm at the end. Okay, so I'm at the end. The two rolls were plenty. I'm gonna just take a longer zip tie and I'm just going to attach it to the first bar and then I'll just cut off the rest. Like so. and then just cut off that excess. All right, so this is the base of our wreath. Now, we are not done with the curls. We're gonna add a few more and you could go through here and pull it out a little bit and, and get it the way that you want. And I just like the look of the black and white together. I know it's just kind of, looks kind of like a mess right now, but. But believe me, I have a method to my madness, okay? So let's go grab some more mesh, maybe some red, and we're gonna add some curls in between. Okay, so this is just some leftover mesh I did from the last Christmas wreath I made for you guys. We have six crossbar sections, and I just put a little fluff of mesh in the first one. So we're gonna make six little crossbar sections of poof. So here's the first one, so we're gonna make five more. I'm gonna cut all of this mesh. I need, if I have five more, I need 10 pieces at about 12 inches each. So I'm gonna cut those out and I'm going to make these little, let me show you here. Just cut it. Again, I'm not getting off the wood burner. I'm just using, this is probably my favorite um, rotary cutter and they, they are in my Amazon shop. I should make sure they're still in stock. It's the Olfa brand. I don't know if I'm saying that right. So you're just gonna take a pipe cleaner. I'm taking some black ones here and I'm just going to curl. I'm going to curl that first side. I'm going to curl the other side and then I'm just going to curl and kind of gather at the same time. I'm going to hold one with one hand or get a chip clip, you know, right here. And if you can't hold it with one hand, put it to the side. Those come from Dollar Tree, you know, just curl, ruffle, curl and ruffle at the same time. Then I just take the, the two and I'm just going to Cross them here and I'm going to take my little pipe cleaner and I'm just going to pull it really tight you could do zip ties if you'd rather okay I'm just going to twist it and that's going to be our little curl so I'm going to take my wreath here and so there's my cross bracket I'm going to go on one side here of where the mesh was 
pull it through and then pull it through on the other side. I'm gonna pull up some of this mush first. It's got a little bubble. Okay. And I'm gonna pull it down and then I'm just going to tie it. And you might have these puffs, just stick them in your wreath frame. Remember, we're gonna cover all this up with felt at the end. All right, so there we go. So now I've got a little bit more color in my wreath and it makes a little bit fuller. So I'm gonna make, uh, let's see, four more of those and I'll come back, oops, <laughs> it's, on, it's up there. We'll come back and I'll show you how we're going to add a ribbon and we're gonna do it going around our sign. Okay, so I think you can see a little bit more of our base. Basically, um, the red kind of gave me a little bit of the red color. We still got the white and black. So this doesn't even have to be a holiday wreath or a Christmas wreath. This could be a wreath with a really cute sign that you like that have these colors. So just use what you have. I just had some extra of this. It wasn't even half of a roll. You could even make these curls 10 inches if you didn't have quite enough. And then that way we can just kind of like fill in the little gaps and make it a more circular shape. Cause sometimes when I first started making wreaths, they would look like squares <laughs> and I didn't have a square wreath. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these um, wires. You guys asked me, where do I get th these wires? I get these packs from Walmart for like $1.97. It's a good, good value. So I just wanna use these wires. I'm not gonna use the zip ties. We're going to put our sign on now, <clears throat> excuse me there, and I'm just gonna run it through, okay? So you got one there, and you're just gonna run it through, okay? The little thing that you can run like a zip tie through, or you could use um, pipe cleaners. So this is why I put the plastic canvas on. So we're gonna just kinda, I'm gonna stand up here, make sure I get this where I want it. So let me see, I want, See, I think I want to end it this way. So I want, yeah, that's what I want to do. You just got to look at it and say, okay, where do you want your ribbons to go and all that. So I want it to kind of be like right in the middle here. So now I'm going to just take, I've already got it through one hole there. And I'm just going to go through the canvas and just flip it over. And then I'm going to tie them. So I'm not even attaching the wreath sign to the wire. I'm just going to attach it to this. And then I'm just going to poke my wires right back down into it. So that if it's not exactly the way I want it, I can undo it and twist it again. All right, let's see. All right, I think that looks good. And again, remember a lot of your mesh is gonna be covered, so we don't need to worry about perfection. All right, so, so now that we got the sign on, now we're going to, we're going to like make a bow for up here and then we're gonna have this ribbon go all the way down to the bottom of this wreath. So let's get out the ribbon and let's talk about what we're gonna do next. Okay, before we move on, I know I said we were gonna move on, but hey, we all make mistakes and we all change our minds. I decided to put two more of these little mounts underneath uh, this side too. So I'm going to run um, more wire through here. Okay. I'm just going to let you know what I'm going to do. And I'm going to connect them on this side too, just to kind of secure a little bit more our sign. I want it to be a little bit more secure than it is because when I ho hold it face up, it kind of sags a little bit. So we're going to solve that by doing that. So I just want to kind of interrupt this and now we're back to the ribbon. All right. So let's talk about their ribbon. We're going to use the ribbon is going to be like and the main I know we have the sign. I know we have the pretty mesh. And if you want to just put a bow on the top of this and be done, I, I'll tell you what I would do. If I just wanted to have this wreath and this base, I would put a bow here and I would put a bow here and I would be done. Okay. But we're not going to do that. We're going to go a, a step further with all this beautiful ribbon that I have here. I got this box. I bought it from the wreath shop. And what the wreath shop does is they put together 12 
things of ribbon and they have 10 yards each in them. They're two and a half inches wide, they're wired. And what they do is they take boxes and they put ribbons in that will go together. They take the guesswork out of this for you. And I'll tell you what, this is probably my biggest struggle is figuring out which ribbons to use. So I bought this, it's a little bit of an investment, but remember you're getting 120 yards of um, ribbon and this is premium ribbon. This is not this is not cheap ribbon, this is premium ribbon. So I really, really like it. The link for this will be in the description box below. So which ones am I gonna use? I've already decided, so I there's no, taking the guesswork out. We're gonna use this fabulous black and white snowflake. I really like this plaid. I feel like you can, you can mix and match plaids right now. And of course, we're gonna use the small check with a little bit of silver um, glitter in it. And we're gonna use those three. So I'm gonna take this and put this to the side. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to take my zip, um, not zip ties, I'm going to take my pipe cleaners and I'm going to run them through where I want to attach my ribbon tails. Okay. So what, I, okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to have one on each to the left here. Okay. And then it will be to the right on the other side of this sign. So I'm going to take out this one here because it's not going to work. We're just going to do... So we'll have one here, one here, one here. Okay, so we're gonna have three sections there. So now I'm gonna move it over and, and that's okay. You can change your mind. I change my mind all the time in wreath making. So we're gonna put one here, one here, and then one right here. You might ask, Julie, why aren't you using a work wreath frame? Because I don't have any. And because um, if I had some, I might give it a try. But I just don't, that's not something I order. I don't use them very much. I kind of feel like you could make your own wreath form, wire form with your own um, pipe cleaners. And I just, it's just not something I feel like I need. So, all right, so now we've got them there. Yep, got that one there. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take, I'm gonna unwrap these and I'll be right back. Okay, so I know I have this upside down, but this is gonna be the top of our wreath. So this is where the main bow is going to go. Now I'm gonna to try to move this around because these should be more like on this side of it and this should be the top. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our ribbon here. I want this one to be in the middle and this one can be on the side and then this one will be on the side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take them and I'm gonna gather. And now we're gonna connect them somewhere down in here. I'm gonna just kind of take a zip tie, a long one. And I'm gonna run it through the mesh and then back up the mesh. There you go. All right, can you see what I'm doing? We're just gonna connect it here. All right. All right. So keep in mind, you want, you want them to all show. So I wanna kinda lay them kinda like so. I want them to be all showing. So I want, I'm gonna take a little loop and I'm gonna just, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna like tie this really tightly down. I'm just gonna twist it and then I'm gonna go like this, okay? And I'm gonna go to the next one, which is down here. So this, that was a shorter, but this is gonna be a longer section here. I gotta get this ribbon. Find your little pipe cleaners and, and then twist. Again, I'm not twisting all the way down to the wreath frame. And then I'm just going to pull it out, the ribbon, and I'm gonna twist. All right, I'm just gonna bring it out. Okay. 
So at this point, what you could do, and actually I think it might be what I do right now, is I'm going to just take it and I'm going to go all the way around. I'm not, I originally I was going to have tails hanging, but I think I just want to take it all the way around. Like I said, you get in the middle of a wreath and you decide something different as you're making it. So now I'm going to just go to the next one right here, which will be like a little smaller section and that's okay. Okay, so now we're going to put a few little embellishments. Um, as you can see, we've got all the ribbon already attached. So what I did is I started at the top. I went all the way around and ended at the top. Okay, so um, make sure you watch the video where I show you to put the placements for your um, little pipe cleaners. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our pipe cleaners again. So we're going to un tie them. I put them down in there, but I shouldn't have done that because I'm, I'm going to use them again. So as you can see, I put a few little ornaments right here and I'm going to do the same and you can do how many other ornaments you want. I'm just putting them through the pipe cleaner like so. I think I'm going to do like a little, a, a cluster of five here on each side. So I'm going to put two on each side here and then We'll end it with one of these little guys. This is just stuff I had in my craft stash. <laughs> you would probably would love to come shopping in my basement because I have quite a bit of supplies. Okay, so then that's gonna make a little pop of four. And then I think I'm gonna just do three here. So I'll do five here and five there. Um, I'm gonna put three here like I did at the bottom. So I'm just gonna find our ends of where we tied the ribbon together. And I'm just gonna put one here, one on the other side, and then let's see, let's pick, let's pick this one. I don't have them all the same on the silver one, but I like the size of this. It doesn't overpower anything and I can just do what I want. So I'm gonna finish this off and then we're going to make our bow and we're gonna put it back on this wreath and we will be finished. Okay, so I hope you can see it. Um, <laughs> these, these wreaths get big. So let me tell you how big this wreath is gonna be. This wreath is gonna be about 26 inches in diameter, about 25 to 26 with a Dollar Tree wreath frame. This is like a 14 inch wreath frame. Let's go over what we use. We use two um, rolls of mesh, one white, one black. I use some leftover mesh in between here. Again, you don't need a whole roll. Use something you have that can color coordinate. Got the sign at the wreath shop. I've got the ribbon at the wreath shop. All the links will be down in the description box below. So let's make a bow to finish this off and have a beautiful black, red, white, and sparkly Christmas wreath. Okay, so we're just gonna use the three ribbons that we did before. And what we're going to do is we're gonna go in order of kind of like the way that we show it on the wreath. This is the right side, the middle, and the outside. So what I wanna do is I'm just gonna do my, my just regular zip tie wreath and we're just gonna layer um, three bows on top of each other and just gradually get a little bit smaller as we go. There's nothing very um, hard about this. We are not going to add tails to this bow because we have the ribbon going all the way around the bow. We don't need the tails. So let's start with the first one, which is going to be this fabulous red plaid. Again, this is two and a half inch wired and it is really nice um, ribbon. So what we're going to do here, I want a six inch bow loop. So how do I get a six inch bow loop? Well, I'm going to take, I'm going to start here because we're not, remember, we're not having a tail. We're going to start here. I'm going to have some extra here and I'm going to measure 12 inches. I'm going to gather and I'm going to just come at in the middle there. I'm going to gather or hold it and measure again another 12 inches and I'm going to come back. Now I want, I want at least four, maybe six. We might do six um, loops for the base of this. So I'm going to measure another 12 inches. I'm gonna measure another. 
and you just keep coming back to the middle, okay? So, yeah, we're gonna do one more. We're gonna do it, um, we're gonna have three loops here. I'm gonna come back to the middle and I'm gonna do another one. Okay, so we're gonna end there. So that gives us three loops. I'm gonna take one zip tie and I'm just going to zip tie it. Now, what I am gonna do before I zip tie this, okay? I'm gonna flip it over. I am gonna grab, because I always forget to do this. I'm gonna grab one of my pieces of wire and I'm gonna put it underneath here. So when I zip tie it, it's already gonna be made into the bow. And that's what we're gonna attach our whole bow to. So I'm going to cut this. Everybody makes bows differently. There's no right or wrong way. This is just the way I do it. Um, you can use your bow maker. I love my pro bow, um, but I know that not everybody has a pro bow. If you're gonna get a bow maker, buy a pro bow. Um, I'll leave my link in the description box below. Even the reshop is selling them now. They're just, to me, worth the investment. If you make a lot of wreaths or you decorate a lot, I'm looking for my, looking for my clippers here. Um, it's just, to me, it's worth it. Okay, so that's the base of our bow. And I've already got the wire that we're gonna need, all right? So let's take the next layer would be our snowflake layer. And we're going to do this and so we're gonna we did the 12 inch length so now we're gonna do 10 inch lengths so again you're gonna need a little extra so I'm just gonna go ahead and gather it and then I'm just gonna measure 10 inches all right so that makes a five inch loop so we had a six inch loops and now we're doing five inch loops so now we're just going to measure again 10 inches that's why I really love having this rotary uh, mat and I'm just gonna keep twisting it and measuring 10 inches and just keep coming back to that middle. Now, with this one, I think, let's just do, we're just gonna do two loops on each side. I'm gonna come back and we're gonna put a zip tie there. Actually, you know what you could do? Just do this. Let's cut it. I'm gonna put it over top here and I'm gonna put a zip tie on it. Oops. Okay, so I have a little tail here, but I'm just gonna hide that in. You're not gonna see it because we're gonna cover it. All right, so now we're going to add our last color of our ribbon. And now we did, so we did 12 inches, 10 inches, and now we're going to do eight inches. So we just decreased the, the size of our ribbon lengths by two inches each. So again, you're gonna start off with a little, you gotta have somewhere to start here. So we're gonna do eight inches here. another eight inches gather and make sure like this has a right and a, a bad a wrong and a right side so you just need to twist just need to twist it make sure it gets the right side showing like I just totally pulled that one and a half that happens okay One more, just make sure. And we're gonna go to the end. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna keep holding that and I'm gonna cut that because we're not doing tails on this bow. All right, I'm going to put this right in the middle here. I'm gonna put another zip tie right in the middle. Okay, so the last little kind of bling we're gonna add here, I'm gonna get a pipe cleaner. 
And we are gonna add these three little ornaments. You could take a piece of ribbon and go across that if you wanted to, but I thought, you know what, this will kind of bring in everything. And so I'm gonna just put them on the side here to kind of make a cluster. And I wanna use three, cause they kind of make a cluster. So we're just gonna go like this in the middle, okay? And then I'll just tie it on the back here. Need to cut that other zip tie. And I think that's really pretty. I think that'll be really nice. I'm gonna cut the zip ties or the pipe cleaner here now. Now we have our wire and I think that's a pretty bow. And you know, if I had it to do over again, I might have added that an extra loop of the black, but I really think that's still really pretty. And I'm gonna flip it so I can see a little bit better for me. And I'm just gonna add it right down here. I'm gonna make it sure it gets in the middle. The wire is good to get through the mesh. It goes through the mesh so much easier. Okay. And I'm just gonna pull it, not too tight down, because I want it to look good. All right. I don't wanna, I don't wanna smush my ribbon. Okay. So let's flip it over. Gonna tighten it here. Now, if you wanna take a little piece of like a zip tie or something, you could definitely make a loop there and I might just do that. Okay, so let's talk about the back of how to cover the back of your wreath. So basically all I do is I purchase fabric, um, felt fabric by the yard. You can do this at Hobby Lobby, you can do it at Joann's probably any local um, craft store that has fabric. I cut it out. I usually use this little scallop um, edged rotary cutter that I use. I'll show it to you. That's what it looks like. And these are in my Amazon shop. And um, what I do is I fold it over and I will take these really super cool scissors and um, I will just poke a hole around the circumference here of my fabric. And then I just take it, I'm gonna go on the back of this wreath. And I know some people don't cover the backs, you don't have to cover the backs, but I have always had a really good um, response from my customers. They always appreciate this little step and um, it's just something I like to do. So, you just attach it. If you had like a middle that was empty, you would just need to cut a circle. That's a little bit more tedious. It's kind of up to you whether or not you want to do that work. If you have an open center, um, sorry about that. <laughs> I put away my clippers there and they were not easily found. Okay, so I'm going to just um, put that zip tie over and then I just kind of like stretch it to the other side. I kinda, it's kind of hard to see when you do it the black, and I like to do this side, let's see here, I see one right here, to kind of stretch it out. And then we'll just finish it up. And like I said, they can just hang the wreath from the wireframe, or you could take a zip tie and just make a loop. And then you can hold your wreath that way too. Okay, so you can see how nice it looks now. Again, let's just pull it. But um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, again, I like to get the stuff from the wreath shop. My link is down in the description box below and I will have the links for the ribbon. I don't know if they still have the sign or not, but um, make sure you check, you, they might. Um, they have some really cute stuff. I also love to shop at Trendy Tree as well and I'll leave you their link as well. And they get a lot of cute things too. But this is just kind of what I wanted to make. I wanted to use this ribbon and one of these beautiful signs and add just some sparkle and it was just fun and anybody can do this wreath again it's kind of hard to see the whole thing I will put a shot at the end so if you've made it this far in the video please leave me a let's see hmm your favorite Christmas emoji in the comment section let me know if there's something, a project you'd like to see me make soon. It sure is great to be back and be able to do a video for you guys again. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. 
We've hit some great milestones this year on Facebook and on Instagram and now on YouTube. So I'm just, it's been a good year in that sense, 2020. It's been a hard year in other sense. We all know what's been going on. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed showing you how to make it. We'll see you next time in Julie's Wreath Boutique.